So new tonight, more troubling details are emerging surrounding the death of a little boy in a hot van in July. The investigation revealing one mistake after another that ultimately led to Noah Sneed's death. CBS 4's Kerry Codd continues working this story. He's live at the scene of the tragedy in Oakland Park. Kerry. Well, Ruta Bay and Elliot, a lot of new details here, specifically that the van driver accused in this case told investigators that little Noah Sneed was awake inside that van when she undid his seatbelt and then took nine other children off that van into the daycare. Somehow Noah got left behind. The court documents show that it wasn't until hours later, around three o'clock, when a teacher noticed Noah's book bag in the daycare, asked about where he was that the van driver realized what happened. Court documents show detectives believe there were serious and ongoing issues with training and record keeping. The Broward Sheriff's Office says two-year-old Noah Sneed died after spending hours in a hot daycare van outside Ceres's daycare in Oakland Park last July. Van driver Angered Thurston is charged with aggravated manslaughter in his death. And now CBS 4 News has obtained court documents that shed new and important light on what investigators believe was a breakdown in training and protocol that led to the boy's death. First, Thurston told detectives that she had never been given instructions as to the order of events to turn off the safety alarm system and that she nor any other staff member ever re-entered the van to check to see if any children were still inside, but just looked inside the van from outside the van. Thurston said she didn't re-enter the van because her knees and joints were aching. The alarm works like this. A van driver is supposed to remove all children and then inspect each seat before shutting off that alarm. BSO says neither Thurston nor the facility director, Lakila Harris, understood that, and that Thurston shut off the alarm before the children were removed from the vehicle. The court records also show that the facility did not have a second person check the van as required, and that sometimes they would have the older children being transported that day check the van to make sure no child was left inside. Court records show that there was no mandated log filled out by the van driver or by a secondary employee, and that on the day Noah died, the director failed to compare the list of kids transported with the list of kids who arrived. Director Lakila Harris stated further, the report says, that if she had done that on this day like she always did, this never would have happened. She said she just didn't do it that day. It's hard. Every day. Tony Bell is Noah's father. He believes with proper training for employees, his son might still be alive. The donkey drive a van, you don't got the right training. Common sense. The court documents show that BSO also spoke to a former van driver here. That van driver said when she worked here a couple of years ago that she never received training on how that alarm safety system works. I spoke to the Broward Sheriff's Office today. They told me that this investigation is ongoing as they try to see if anyone else failed to protect this little boy. Live in Oakland Park, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Carrie, thank you.